Good afternoon, high performance computing nerds, and welcome back to the Mile High City. We're here at Supercomputing 2023. My name is Savannah Peterson, joined by my co-host, John Furrier. We are talking AI, we are talking chipsets, we are talking data. Any of those conversations your favorite? Do you like how- Storage is my favorite, because I love talking about storage, okay? Storage is not snorage. No. It's not boring at all. What's storage is hot. Ever? Storage is transformed into the most important. Storage never dies. Since 13th we've been doing the cube. <laughs> it's storage. Dave Vellant, I love storage. I yeah. love story. <laughs> John likes to train our AI live on the show all the time. We love, st <laughs> we love storage. We've got IBM storage here. Speaking of coincidence, what a coincidence that you brought that up. Let's welcome David to the show. David, how are you doing? How, have you, I, I imagine every one of your customers is here. Have you had a chance to walk the floor? Have you been trapped in meeting rooms? What's it been like I have been, It's been great. And I've really seen the difference in the energy this year. You know, coming off of COVID Likewise. and things like that, it's been tremendous. We have, we have had more customer meetings meetings, more customer visits, and it's kind of exciting because people exciting. are talking about data. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I'm, I don't like to always say storage, though that's fine for the, for the, you know, storage lower, for the AI, for yeah, the yeah. AI <laughs> program that you're doing, but it's about data. It is and about that's data. that's really what it is. It is about data, and you actually, I, I thought this was interesting, because I mean, we agree, we talk about data all the time, I'm sure the AI knows that. You said you were surprised by how many conversations you've had about yes. data. Yes, yes. Tell me more about that, why was that surprising to well, you? Well, it was surprising because they're doing more with their data, and they're expecting more with their data. Yeah. With the whole avenue of GPUs and CPUs, sure, now they said, great, we've got all this performance, but the whole idea to AI and bringing AI innovation is bringing more data, bringing it faster, so that we can get the results, like in your Cube AI program. Yeah, right. I mean, I think, I mean, I said storage, feeding the AI, of course. I joke, but I'm not kidding. Storage has, uh, has super important in the equation of, of our digital life, but now storage is everywhere, so it's yeah. not about storage conversation, it's about data needs to be stored somewhere, it needs to be transmitted from point A to point B, that's networking, and it's it's processed on a server, yes. okay, that has a GPU and a CPU, so <laughs> server, storage, and networking, the holy trinity of hyperconvergence, and that's now going to be refactored yes. as a system for yeah. AI systems, so these yeah. models create this new abstraction right. that'll be the interface to the user, but below it's just, Infrastructure and systems working. This is the top conversation. And by the way, semiconductors, service store networking, glue layers, interconnects. Right. Sounds like a PC to me on in the cloud. Like it's it's like it's all those elements right. as a system. This is the new systems mindset. What's your reaction to that? Well, I think that's so true. And I mm -hmm. think what's what I'm seeing is customers are looking for this is a change in the conversation. They're not just looking for our technology. Mm -hmm. We can bring that. I've got some exciting news I want to share, but but it's really about, yeah, but but it's really about what they're using it for. That's the change, and customers are wanting that. They say, it's tell really us about your technology, point, yeah. but how can we leverage it? Because we're being asked to do more. That's, that's what's So amazing. let's get into the news. We love news, break the news, what's going All right. on, the share news the news. The news is, we announced the fastest system in the industry for storage that we, we, we topped ourselves. We are already a leader, we already had the top number, we already are the fastest storage, but we now doubled it, doubled it again. So we are. Wow, impressive. Yeah, so it, it is. So we can now Very. bring, yeah, 277 gigabytes per second, you know, of our storage, 13 million apps. I mean, I think about the system, I was in block storage for many years, right? And you know, <laughs> and, and you talked about having 13 million IOPS in Iraq. You know, we could put 130 million IOPS in Iraq now. I mean, faster than any that's, system out there. I mean, that, it's a mob, it's I, I feel my brain actually exploding right. as you're saying this in terms <laughs> yeah. of the scale. Right. And, and we're ramping so quickly right now. Right. And, and I'm sure, you know, are your customers, do you get a sense of FOMO from them? We do, we do. They're, they're still wanting to know how to use it, but it's not, it's just not about the performance, right? We also announced then the whole idea of the flash core module. We're the first to bring computational storage to file an object, right? We've had it for mm -hmm. block for years. You've, you, you got, know, yeah, you guys are here. just flexing but over now, there, I love But this. bringing that computational storage now, with QLC and the whole avenue of, of the compression and, and the whole aspect there, that's been huge. So we're now able to bring the efficiency, right? And then our software then brings the connectivity, right? Because customers, and we got the hybrid cloud story. We were here a couple months ago talking about that, about our hybrid cloud story and how we're, how we're really leveraging everything. Because when you're talking about AI, 
you can't just do it on a single system. No, it's going to And you be can't just over. get data from a single source. Yeah. Nope. You've got to tie it all together. And the HPC conversation, this, this world that started actually in 1988 when I graduated from college, still going, but they've been grinding on this, how to get more performance out of right. systems at large scale, precision engineering, mm -hmm. molecule work, right. big science, big academic. Now you bring cloud and now the on-premise <laughs> new model is emerging. You've got right. large scale data opportunities right. with narrow precision yep. and personalization productivity enhancements, but this isn't like really lagging, it's real time. Right. So you're talking about a new yeah. interface, new abstraction middleware layer or shim layer, that's going to completely change the architecture underneath. What do you see for customers thinking about? How are they thinking about this? What are some of the conversations? What's the mindset? What's the platform engineering look like? What's the architect look like? How are people rethinking? Because if it's under the hood, you, got, you can do a lot of magic under there. Yep. This is what HPC's doing. That's it, and, and I think that's what's really it, is customers are rethinking their whole data architecture. They, they feel that it's a strategic now. It's not just something where, especially with all the data, it used to be secondary storage that you'd put on, you attach to, you do, right. or you attach some local storage and make sure it's fast. Let's go put it over there now and it's, hope it's okay. Right. So yeah. we, we, we call it our global data platform, but it's a whole idea of customers need to think through a strategy if they're going to go to AI. They need something different. So they need to be able to connect data sources from the cloud, from multiple areas. Right. That's what they're doing. And also create that parallel performance. You can't have a single performance. So there's only a couple of us that can do that parallel performance at speed, and we're, we're there. Well, you guys always had great storage at IBM. The legacy goes way back. What's the future of, of Edge? Because this is a big part oh, I love of edge. the conversation. Yeah, let's talk about edge for a because That's you got great. you got the classic great. edge, industrial edge, whatever. Then you got words like the far edge. Yep. The I've heard people call things hyper edge. Yep. Space yep. is part of the equation now. Mm -hmm. Satellites. Yep. Tesla announced they're going to not Tesla, but uh, Elon Musk's company is going to going to go public. Um, Sky. Uh, what, uh, what's the service that he's got there? Starlink? Starlink. Yes. <laughs> Whatever that <laughs> technology is. I, my brain's fried. <laughs> so, okay, you got Starlink, you got, you, got, you got Starlink in space, satellites, you got telemetry, you have <laughs> hyper edge, cameras, industrial IOT, what's the edge? You're like feeding right into me, and feeding right into my story, this is great, because I think that's We're here the whole, for you, David. I know, I see we that. are I here for we're you. We're prompt, en we're, get out we're prompt engineers. They're, prompt. They're all here for you too, our fabulous production <laughs> love team. Love it, yes. <laughs> yeah. Great job. Well, and I think that's important, right, because we've got the only technology that can really bring in data from the edge, right, because so much data is being created but it's sitting at the edge. How do you get it from the edge to where all this compute power is? You can't keep bringing, though we can offload and get some GPU power, some CPU power on the edge, but really we need to bring it into the core or bring it into the cloud or leverage the cloud and tying that all together is the key. Yeah. Right, so, and that's what we do. And that's it's that universal experience across tools and teams that's going to make them be able to accelerate with the velocity that they all want to it. right now. Right. And I love that you're one of those players that is connecting the dots so that yeah. right. people can just do. Curious, David, since you do get to see so many different types of applications and you've had yep. oodles of customer conversations here on the floor, Taking off your professional IBM storage hat for a second, what applications, since I do think we're, we're just starting to see some of these realized, what applications in the AI space are getting you the most excited? Oh, it's, it's, it's more bringing analytics to the AI space and obviously the generative AI, right? I mean, we are tying in and all our storage, especially our storage scale system, and we tie into that number of areas there, but with the Watson X. Right, I mean that's yeah. really what we're seeing. We're seeing that driving to the to the AI models with both the with the analytics AI, the big data AI, bringing that together, tying that together into the lake house, and that's what Watson X does, and that's what we're about. I love that. All right, final question for you. You are so excited and enthusiastic. I can feel your uh, energy. Yeah, you are just like the data spokesperson. I feel like data is paying you to be this pumped up about it. <laughs> we've, had a, we've had a great conversation here today. What do you hope you're able to say when we have you on the show at Next Supercomputing that you can't currently say today? Yep, that, that we have been successful at helping customers bring AI, bring the AI innovation forward to help their business grow. That's it, if I can help promote and create that strategic layer 
because that's yeah. what we want to be about. That's what we're trying to tell people. They need to rethink their whole data platform. And so next year, if you can say, wow, even more customers, and they're really seeing that change, and seeing AI push forward, because that's what we're about. Yeah, and the data is critical. Having all that data available makes a lot of work. Driving oh, the innovation yeah. through the data. <laughs> if data was a data spokesperson, you're really good. Data's a client. <laughs> data is paying him. Data, <laughs> data. <laughs> data's Global data platform. I'm going to get in your AI program so, so I can do that. Two quotes in the queue that I love. Compute should be like oxygen free. Yes. And data should be free like oxygen. I love it. it that sounds great. More data, the better. The so more data, the better. What a fabulous closing. Data matters. <laughs> yes. And they need to, and customers need to rethink. They can't keep doing it the way they're doing it. Yep. That's what I find out so much. Every customer Very is true. saying, I'm running under limitations. I can't do it the way I'm doing it right now. They need yeah. a change. And that's what we're about. Awesome. I love that. Well, we're happy to hear it, and thank you it's for bringing that story to, to thank us. Thank you so much. I, I, I look forward to hopefully getting to have some of those customer conversations, maybe even here on the stage at Supercomputing well, we'll next we're, year. We're, we're really developing more with the cloud team and with our whole thing, and really tying together yeah. that hybrid cloud with Google, and, and you'll yeah. be hearing actually some of that, yeah. some of the things that we're doing there. Storage is about compute now, GPUs, CPUs, um, all the systems around it, networking. It's a whole nother level. Yeah, it really is. David, thank you so much for sharing thank your enthusiasm. Thank you so much for letting me share. And your insights, John, fantastic job. We won't let Elon know about the Starlink moment. Yeah. And thank all of you for tuning in live to our coverage in Denver, Colorado, here at Supercomputing 2023. My name's Savannah Peterson, and you're watching theCUBE, the leading source for emerging tech news.